All right, NASA is once again reaching for the stars as it launches a historic mission to learn more about how our planet may have formed. Imagine a giant ball of metal floating in space that's so hot it could melt your face off. That's Psyche, the asteroid that NASA wants to explore. But don't worry, they have a plan. But before we get into that, let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered what's inside Earth? Now, I don't mean the boring stuff like dirt and water and worms. I mean the real stuff, the stuff that makes Earth tick, the stuff that gives us our magnetic field, our volcano, our earthquakes and our precious metals. I'm talking about the core of the planet, the innermost layer that's made of solid iron and nickel surrounded by a molten layer of the same metals. The core that's so hot and dense that it would crush you like a soda can if you ever tried to visit it. Well, guess what? You don't have to wonder anymore because NASA has found a way to visit the core of a planet without actually going there. How? By sending a spacecraft to an asteroid that is basically a core of a planet that never was. That's right, NASA is going to visit Cy Psyche, the most metal asteroid in the solar system. Psyche is a 173 mile wide or 280 kilometer wide asteroid that orbits the Sun in the outer part of the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It was discovered in 1852 and named after the Greek goddess of the soul. But don't let the name fool you. This asteroid has no soul. It has no personality. It has no life. It's just a cold, hard metal ball. But why is it so metal? Well, scientists think that Psyche is actually the exposed core of a planetary Planetesimal, or an early planetary building block. A planetesimal that was stripped of its outer layer due to violent collisions that took place during the early formation of the solar system. So what does that mean? It means that Psyche is a relic from the past, a fossil from the dawn of time, a window into the origin story of Earth and other rocky planets like it. By studying Psyche, we can learn how planets are born, how they grow, how they die, and how they leave behind their metallic skeletons. Sounds pretty awesome, but not so fast, because there's a catch, a big catch, and that catch is heat. You see, Psyche is not just any metal asteroid, it's a metal asteroid that has some extreme temperatures on its surface. How hot is it? Well, according to NASA, Psyche's surface temperatures ranges from minus 200 degrees Celsius or minus 328 degrees Fahrenheit on the night side to 700 degrees Celsius or 1292 degrees Fahrenheit on the day side. That's right, 700 degrees Celsius. That's very hot for an asteroid. In fact, it's hotter than the surface of Mercury, which is the closest planet to the Sun. How is this possible? Well, it's because Psyche is very close to the Sun compared to other asteroids in its orbit. It takes only four years and eight months to complete one revolution around the Sun, while most asteroids take five to six years. And because Psyche is so close to the Sun, it gets bombarded by solar radiation all day long. Solar radiation that heats up its metal surface to extreme temperatures. So what does that mean for NASA's mission? It means that NASA has to deal with some serious challenges. First, Firstly, they've got to launch their spacecraft at just the right time and place to catch up with this speedy asteroid, which zips through space at 12 miles per second. It's like trying to hail a taxi during rush hour, not exactly a walk in the park. Then they need to make sure their spacecraft can handle the harsh conditions of space and the crazy heat on Psyche's surface. Think of it as giving their gear a special makeover to prevent it from melting or frying. And last but not least, there's the matter of keeping in touch. NASA has to figure out a way to communicate with its spacecraft when it reaches Psyche's orbit in late July 2029 and begins its mission in August of the same year. Yes, you heard that right, 2029. That's how long it will take for NASA's spacecraft to travel around 2.2 billion miles or 3.5 billion kilometers to reach Psyche. So once NASA's spacecraft finally meets up with Psyche, it's in for about a two-year asteroid vacation. During that time, it's basically doing what we do on a trip, taking selfies, well, not really, making maps and and gathering all sorts of info to figure out what's up with Psyche. But what's in its toolkit, you might wonder? Well, NASA's equipped it with some pretty cool toys. There's a magnetometer, a gamma ray, and neutron spectrometer. Just look at that name. And a multispectral imager. Think of them as cosmic detectives sent to solve the asteroid mystery. The magnetometer will look for evidence of an ancient magnetic field, which would support the theory that Psyche is the leftover core of a planetary body. The gamma ray and neutron spectrometer will help determine the chemical elements that make up the asteroid, such as iron, nickel, copper, gold, platinum, and other rare metals. You know, the 
the kind of stuff that makes you rich if you can get your hands on it. And the multispectral imager will give us a peek at what Psyche is made of, like whether it has any water, ice, or organic matter. So what's behind all this curiosity? Well, it's not just for fun. All this data helps us piece together Psyche's story, and that helps us unlock secrets about Earth and other planets. Think of it like solving space mysteries and getting a space history lesson. But is it worth it? Is it worth spending $1.2 billion and waiting eight years to visit a metal asteroid? Some people might shout yes, loud and clear. They see Psyche as a unique space gem, a chance to uncover the secrets of our solar system's birth. Then there's the exciting idea that Psyche is a real-life treasure chest, loaded with trillions of dollars worth of precious metals, if we can figure out how to get to it. Imagine stumbling upon the universe's savings account. Jackpot! But hold on, not everyone's on board. Some say, nah. They argue that Psyche is a pointless chase, and we should spend our money on missions to more exciting and reachable places. And let's not forget the danger factor. Some worry that Psyche's a risky business, an adventure that might fail or turn into a space fiasco. Now, what about fairness? Even if we do get rich by mining Psyche, there's a big question mark. Will it be a fair way to get money from space where everyone gets some, or will it just make the rich richer, leaving the rest of us wishing upon a star? It's like wondering if everyone can join the party or if it's just for the VIPs in space. So what's your take on NASA's Psyche mission? Are you psyched about it or not? Do you think it's worth spending a billion bucks and waiting eight years to visit a metal asteroid that has some crazy conditions? I mean, this thing is like a cosmic oven and fridge in one. It goes from freezing cold to scorching hot in a matter of hours. How are they going to pull this off? Well, they're probably going to need humanoid robots. That's right, NASA is working on humanoid robots that can assist astronauts in space. These robots are designed to look and move like humans, so they can perform tasks that humans can't or won't do, like visiting a metal asteroid that's hotter than Mercury. But why humanoid robots? Why not just regular robots? Well, NASA says that humanoid robots have some advantages over other types of robots. They can use the same tools and equipment that humans use, so they don't need special adaptations. They can also work alongside humans in a more natural and efficient way, so they can enhance human capabilities. If you're curious about these humanoid robots and how they could help us explore the solar system, you'll love this video we made on this topic. Just click here to watch it now. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Now hold on a sec before you dive into that awesome video, I've got a classic line for you. And here it is. If you enjoyed this video, how about giving that thumbs up button a friendly tap? And don't keep all the news to yourself, share it with your buddies. Oh, and there's this little bell icon. Give it a click to stay in the loop with our future videos. Yes, I know it sounds like the cliche YouTuber thing, but trust me, it's like giving our channel a rocket boost. Thanks for watching. See you next time with more awesome space news.